Hello everyone, welcome to the tutorial. Um, in this lesson we are going to create the Apple's logo and uh, for that the tool which I'm going to use will be Zara Extreme Pro. You can easily download it from internet as well from their website that is uh, www.zara.com. So currently in this lesson we are going to create the Apple's logo and uh, for that click on file import select the Apple's logo click open now this will be your reference file reference photo on which you are going to trace the the same logo using this shape editor tool this is quite a simple and powerful tool through which you can create any custom shapes you want so Using this tool, we are going to retrace this whole Apple's logo. So, starting by the leaf first, click at this point by selecting the Shape Editor tool. Click it, click over here. Uh, do the next click at the finishing point. As you can see, I have created this straight line. Now, you can do different things with this line. For example, give it different shapes by dragging it and uh, moving it along press ctrl z in order to undo your lost changes and uh, one more thing about this uh, shape editor tool is that whenever you draw any shape there are different points which are also known as the nodes of this whole shape uh, in this case I have two different nodes one is this one and the other is this one so using these nodes I can change the shape I can move its place as well and uh, there is one more thing with the nodes for example if I have a curve I will have two different handles one at each, one at each node using the handles I can uh, drag those handles in order to give my shape a more precise look so in this case I have created this curve which is very much precise according to the actual Apple's logo so yeah now click enter in order to complete the shape now here's the another line or the another end of your shape so just drag and drop this thing to get the more specific shape of this leaf that's it I have created the leaf of this logo now in order to create the apple start by any point and do the same thing which you did with the leaf click on adding two points you will have a line and uh, change the shape by dragging and moving the curve so click this on node click anywhere on the screen you will get another node that will be the continuity of your previous curve line so this will create your finishing shape like this that's quite simple all you need to do is to create different nodes and uh, using those nodes just give the actual shape to your currently designing shape so press enter in order to complete the shape or if you don't want to press enter what you can do is just click the starting node as you can see there is a small plus sign which shows that when I click uh, when, I, when I click over here my shape will be completed and uh, yeah my shape is already completed so remove all this by selecting the two shapes and moving them along so as you can see that I have successfully created and replicated that post logo. So you can do different things with the shapes. 
and uh, I'll be going I'm gonna teach these things to you in another video if you like so that's it thank you for watching the tutorial have fun